Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and welcome to one of our newest listings. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my free resale mobile app. Up above is the link to my new construction website. You could go to either one of those links or you could scan those QR codes with your mobile phone and it will take you straight to them. Completely free to use. Let's check this one out. So, today we are looking at a resale. I know I mostly show new home construction, but if you're thinking about buying new, you want to buy new, make sure to call me before you call the builder, before you go in person to see the models or you email them. Because if you don't go with me or if I don't contact them on your behalf, you're going to work directly with the builder and they don't represent you. They, those sales assistants actually represent the builder. So if you want representation, give me a call. Again, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does. So. Today we are in Henderson. Pretty nice little home. This was built in 1996. It is three bed, two bath, two car garage. It is 1,777 square feet. Now this one is currently on the market at $449,000. Now again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Also make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. So one of the cool features about this home, I kind of went over to this side. You do have this whole side lot. There are some gates right here. They are locked right now, but you could sneak all the way over there. So coming on in. So we even have the privacy fences, especially when it gets cooler out, you can leave the door open, close these. Really nice to have. So coming in, we have our, what are, a lot of people would probably use this as the living room. This could be a sitting room. There's a lot you could do. You could do a dining area there as well. I do like the vaulted ceilings. We do have a fireplace. You can kind of see that side lot out that window. You could sneak directly into the kitchen over there. And we even have this whole server area. Really nice if you want to do like a buffet, anything like that. You have more storage. But we'll get to all of that here in a minute. Let's go ahead and start down this way. Now, right here, we do have our linen closet. Now, there is someone still living here. They are getting ready to move out, so I don't want to open up too many of the closets just for privacy. Right now, we are coming into what would be the laundry room or the mud room. We have our washer dryer. We have some shelves. It is a two-car garage. I promise you, it is just full right now. We have, excuse me, linens, and we have our coat closet. Right here, first bedroom. And this is actually pretty good size. I know a lot of the new construction, the bedrooms are like 10 by 10. That is not the case here. You can almost see where a bed would go. So there is a lot of space. You could get a dresser, even two nightstands in here. And then we have our two door closet. Now it just has a single bar and shelf. And again, if you need more closet space, what you could do is raise that one up, add a second bar and shelf, and you've effectively doubled your hanging space. Right here, we do have our first bathroom. So single vanity with a lot of storage underneath. We have our toilet and that is neat. I don't know if I've ever seen that with the mirror on it. Huh, pretty cool. But it is fiberglass composite, or is it tile? It is actually tile. So it is not a fiberglass composite tub shower combo. Pretty nice, and again, I know a lot of people do like the tile compared to just the composite material, but you have your shower head, the tub filler, and the valve. Decent sized bathroom, actually. If we spin directly across, we get to our second bedroom. Looks to be a queen size bed, big dresser slash nightstand. And again, you can see just how big these rooms are. Again, nice size window. If we spin around, Again, same thing as before, we have our two-door closet slider. And if we come on out, we do hit our master, our primary bedroom. And it's really nice size. You have a huge entry into it. You do have vaulted ceilings with crown molding, a lot of windows. I do like the layout of this home. Nice single story home. Before we check out, let's check out the closet first and we'll get to the bathroom. So we do have our walk-in closet. Again, it is vaulted. So if you need even a little bit more shelving, you can go up higher. And is there even a little, oh, it almost looked like behind the door, there's a little bump out. 
Coming on out, we get into the primary, the master bath. We have our double vanity, same exact cabinets as before. And if we spin on in here, it's actually pretty spacious in here. And again, it is vaulted, lots of windows. I do love the privacy glass in bathrooms. I know I joke about Vegas windows, not the case here. We do have our oversized tub and it is tiled again. And we do even have the tile that continues on into our shower. Very nice. And it is a pretty good size shower as well. Right here we do have our toilet area. And if we come on out, I'm gonna sneak out to the backyard really quickly before heading in to the living spaces and the kitchen. So coming on out back, we do have a covered patio and you could sneak out from the kitchen area and it is extended out. Now again, one thing when you buy new, it's just gonna be dirt. So it's up to you to finish it however you want. You can go simple with just rock. You could go all the way up to a crazy backyard with a pool, spa, heater, all of that good stuff. Now, one thing to remember, when you do add a pool, spa, and heater in this backyard could have a pretty good sized pool. On average, it's probably gonna cost you at least $80,000 to do a backyard, just because the pool, spa, heater is probably gonna run you at least 60. And then with landscaping and everything else, we even have this whole side yard, which you could turn into like a dog run, play area. It is a really, really nice sized lot. So keep those things in mind when you are searching for a home. Coming back in. So again, there's even some more storage if you wanted to put anything up there or hang or put some paintings or whatnot. There's a lot of different nooks and crannies in this home. So coming back around again, front door right here. Hello. <laughs> so again, you could do a lot with this. You could do formal sitting. You could do your family room. We have, again, same cabinets as before. There's so much space here. This is like a table almost. But coming on in to what some people would potentially use as the family room, this would be a cool dining room area actually since you have the uh, kitchen right here. Again, nice size. We have French doors and it is vaulted as well. It feels a lot bigger than just under 1800 square feet. Again, single stories tend to just have that since it's not divided on two different levels. But right here we have our breakfast nook. And again, it is vaulted. And right here is that door we saw if you wanted to sneak on out out back or if you want to just keep this open get some airflow especially here in about what a month and a half or two it's gonna be really nice weather again nice size kitchen it's very open i feel like you could even do like a bump out or something or even add more you could do more pantry you could do more cabinets countertops there's a lot of space in here so we have our lowers we have the 36 inch uppers. I always like to just peek and it is not vented. It is gonna recirculate, so just keep that in mind. We have our five burner cooktop. We have our three door fridge. We have our pantry. Now again, I know people might say this is a little bit small, but you have all of that space. So if you wanted to do a massive pantry over there, you could. We have our drawers. We have our uppers again. We have our dishwasher. We have our sink. And again, I could see a lot of people potentially doing this as a dog run or play area because it's nice that it's right there with the sink and you can't really see into the neighbors as well. All in all, pretty neat single story home. Again, we are in Henderson today. Again, if you have any questions about this home, please feel free to reach out to me. All my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Would love to help you out in any way possible. Again, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.